For today's videos, I'm gonna talk about core shooters, upper Esther, and Bugushi builds. I covered this build during one of my streams, and this build heavily focused on utilizing the additional damage attributes from core shooter class with Pade the accessory, which is pretty good by the way, because the additional damage status can actually melt down and bypass both monster and boss's defense. The current endgame content scale extremely high, causing the monster and bosses to have a ton of defense, and it has become quite difficult for new and return players to actually tackle this content right away, which is why additional damage status becomes so valuable. Player can dish out a ton of damage without having a strong equipment or fully upgrade gears for their character. For the builds, we are going to use Divine Retribution Art. This art deals extra damage based on the damage that caused by the skill and hit 3 times with 1 second cooldowns, which is pretty good by the way because we need the extra hit to trigger Pedati. The Pedati accessory only trigger based on the number of hit and having the full accessory requires at least 16 hit to trigger the effects. This is only good if you're using auto attack build like Chaplains, SR, and Knockboy, but with Obelister and Bugushi, these two class are actually way better because they come with multi-hit and area ability which allow your character to dish a ton of damage and increase the chance to trigger predated. For the equipment, we are using the new goddess equipment that come with the new default inkers. The default inker status are crit rate, con, medium offset, and attack against all type of creature. I'm not going to use additional damage status on the equipment because it would take a lot of time to roll for additional damage gears and new and return players don't have access to a large quantity of backgrounds or gabisha token to purchase the magnifiers in the beginning. Next, we are using Obelester and Rugushi Vibora with two coordination for the weapons and overload inkers for the armors. Obelister Vibora increased the chance to trigger homing arrows after casting the guided shot or dodge judgments. This could apply a mark debuff which enable player to trigger extra damage by shooting at homing arrows. Player can trigger the homing arrows with either basic attacks or skill. Rugushi Vibora caused the Golden Frog skill to trigger acid rain, dealing additional hit and damage. Another good part about Wugushi Vivora is the status itself, because it gives it extra additional damage status and extra level skills for Wugong Wu and Golden Frost skill. For the remaining items, we are using plus one Boros of Seal for the extra damage bonus and tri status build that come with accuracy, block penetration, and crit rate. I also use Gizzing Crown of Thorn with additional damage gems and flame earring with extra tier one level for core shooter skills. You don't have to use core shooter earring, any earring with strength plus the con status should be fine for the builds. Onto the skill builds, you want to max out Concentration, Lift, Swift Step, and Twin Arrow for the base class. Make sure to unlock the Lift Dexterity attributes which give your character an extra move speed buff for a short period of time. For Core Shooter, you want to unlock the Scatter, Caltrop, Rapid Fire, Running Shot, and Block and Shoot. Make sure to unlock attributes like additional damage status. For Obelester, you want to put 1 point into Escape, 5 point into Guided Shot, 14 Fast Fight Shot, and max out Dark Judgments, Death Stone, and Shiny Burst. You want to unlock Targeted Arrows, both Normal and Art Attributes. The Targeted Arrows attributes allow your character to trigger the Homing Arrows. You also want to unlock the Death Zone Exterminate attributes, which increase the number of targets that you can hit with Death Zone skills. Lastly, for Wugushi, you want to max out Wugong Wu, Zendu, Golden Fire, and Crescido Banes, 1 point into Latin Venoms for extra dark damage, 1 point into WMs for escape and extra damage over time and the rest of the skill point into the poison pot. You also want to unlock a few attributes like poison reserve and decrease poison resistance. Player can also equip the boss card for poison pot. There are two different options by the way which include Morning Ponia and Tantalizer. I personally use Morning Ponia because it had a stunning effect. You can also buy the legendary Morning Ponia cards from the Merchandise Bash Shops. After that, open up the Poison Pot interface at the bottoms and equip the card. In order to use Wugushi skills, you must have Poison in the Poison Pot. And in order to get the Poison, you must consume Venom items that you can purchase from the majority of the Archer Master NPC. The following setup for the card album provide extra shield, additional damage, flash strength, slow debuff, bleeding effect, and movement speed. Yenna card is optional, but you can always replace the card for prison cutters or any red card that offer damage boost. For the assister, you want to pick up at least gear clips for the additional damage status, powder ports, madendra, and rapid nails. The goal is to get both beast and mutant type combination so you can get extra strength and deck status along with extra damage bonus and reduction for fuel farming content. Archer doesn't have a lot of buffs, so you only need to activate a few skills. However, the whole class combo revolves around dodge judgment and gather shot. As long as you apply the mark debuffs on the enemies, you can follow up with any skill combination for the DPS. One of my favorites is dodge judgments, golden fraud, lightning poison, death zone, shiny burst, and poison pot. After that, I can throw out any skill that I want for this combo. You also want to make sure you reapply the mark debuffs with gather shot to maximize out the extra homing arrows as long as possible. Once you finish all your combos, you can go ahead and just auto attack your target until your skill are up again. 
This whole build is rather interesting because I have always wanted to find an auto attack build for Archer and this build just fit right in. It has additional damage synergy between two classes such as our Ballester and Quarter Shooter. With Gucci damage over time effects make it so much better. The build is very comfortable to use for fuel farming for an Archer class. I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of builds out there but personally this is one of my favorite. Anyway that is all for these videos. Let me know what do you guys think about this build. I would love to hear it. My name is Sanochi and I will see you all in the next videos. Peace out.